नमो नमो गुरुदेव को नमो कबीर सखपाल नमो संत शरणागति सकल पाप भैचा सतगुरु को की जे बंदगी कोटि कोटि परना कीटन जाने भृंग को गुरु कर ले आप समा is like that there is nothing in this life that is perhaps more certain than death even birth is not as certain as death what can be born dead or you know miscarry not even really born into a living being but death is certain once you hear what is so surprising according to indian scripture is that we see death everywhere and each one of us lives as if we will not die it's surprising in the midst of our life we don't think about death and so we do so many things in this life that's really not going to make us ready to face death and death just happens to us in the midst of our busy lives when we least expect it the proper teaching is to expect death any time and we know that but we don't often live as if death can happen any time so what are we supposed to do kabir sahib has said in one of his couplets sahib marte marte jag mua marana na jane koi kahe kabir aise marye ki bahuri na marna hoy kabir sahib is telling us People are dying everywhere, every day. But most of them do not know how to die. He's telling us, learn to die in such a way that you do not have to die again. That doesn't mean we have to die two deaths. it means that we must live this life in such a way that our karmas do not bring us back into this life to die again and that our karmas bring us back so that we die again we must attain that state of freedom liberation moksha once we attain that state the body will die of course there's nothing we can do about it but we are not just this body we are the consciousness that am lives in this body we heard the first bhajan by parmala jyoti bindu parmatma se hai meri atma ab chal kar le milan we are familiar with the sun it gives off a ray of light I'm just using one ray, but it's okay. complex. Each ray is of that sun. We are a ray of spiritual light from the divine light, God. The Bhajan is instructing us that realize that we are that ray of light. Come and realize your unity with your source. One of our big problems in life is we do not realize we have a source. Theoretically or intellectually we know we have a source, we came from somewhere, but we don't know where we came from. And we don't even know where we have to go after this death. It is so uncertain. Are we preparing ourselves to die in such a way that we don't have to die again?
वन और द भजन वी हर्ड माटी का खिलौना माटी में मिल जाएगा माटी मीन्स क्ले डर्ट दिस बॉडी इज मेड ऑफ क्ले एवरीथिंग दस इन दिस अर्थ कंपोज द बॉडी इज नॉट डिफरेंट दिस बॉडी इज लाइक अ डॉल मेड ऑफ क्ले वेर डज क्ले मैंगल अगेन इन टू क्ले it doesn't go in the sky it goes back into the clay we have come from the earth and we go back into the earth that's the story of this body no matter how much care we take of the body how we decorate it and everything else and no matter how proud we are of this body it will go back clay that's why kabir sahib said dhan yovan ko garv na kije झूठ है पचरण चोल रहे डो नॉट हैव प्राइड ऑन योर वेल्थ योर ब्यूटी योर हैंडसमनेस योर फिजिक ए सॉ क्ले ए झूठ है इंस्पेरिशल एंड येट वी लिव दिस लाइफ एंड दिस दिस क्ले इज सो प्रेशस realize that this clay we made of is a clay house in which you can go and live and guys and some of us live in clay house you take clay and make the walls and you take bush and you cover the roof and we live in that the soul lives in this house of clay but just because a house with the clay and the bush roof decays it at the ground or burns down doesn't mean you are dead with the house unless you trap it at a force just so the dweller in this house of clay is called soul it doesn't die with the body it is spirit it just can't die no matter what you do just can kill the spirit you can break all the lights in this hot building the electricity will still be there just so think of what this life is one bhajan we heard there bala pan sab khel gawai jwani me pyate kaam vridha bhay tan ka pan lage let kan lage chan you spent your childhood your so take not the fun and games and play then you grow up and your entangled with all kinds of work and cares and worries and then you grow old and your skin gets wrinkled and you need glasses to see and sometimes you can't see your ears are getting deaf and the sun is too hot you have to take an umbrella or wear a cap and you don't have the strength anymore your muscles are weak your bones are thinned out is that what we are living for should we not make this path of life such that as the body ages and grows down and goes into the clay that there's some part of what it grows into wisdom and freedom that is what kabir sahib is telling us to realize our condition where we headed and he tells us all the time be aware that you are not going to be here forever so let us live this life in such a way that we are able to look back on this life and say oh yes i have progressed I can see I have greater wisdom I know what life is all about it's not just eat drink and be merry one day bhajan you heard santan ke sang lagre tere achhe banenge 
Keep the company of good people, noble people, saintly people. It will be good for you. It will be good for your soul. The majority of people, the way their minds work is that they are not attracted to the holy places. They are more attracted to the things that satisfy their senses, that give them pleasure. But they don't see far ahead that pleasure is momentary. Bliss is forever. Every pleasure that you enjoy in this life, tonight or tomorrow, any time, it doesn't last beyond that time, or perhaps that night or next day. And what happens? You have to seek pleasure again. And so there are people seeking pleasure all the time, seeking happiness, and it's elusive. You can never have permanent pleasure and happiness in life. But if you get that inner source of all pleasure, all happiness and all bliss, you don't seek pleasures out there to satisfy senses. And that is our lack in this life. We do not understand what the saints are telling us. We sort of brush them aside a lot of the times. We need to stop and think. What did the wise teachers tell us? What did Sadhguru Kabir Sahib tell us? What did Bhagavad Gita and the Upanishads and the Vedas and all these great scriptures tell us? How to live this life in such a way that we get moksha. We realize the state of our being. We realize who we are. We realize our own reality. And when we do that, there is nothing in the world that can prevent us from being blissful and being happy. Because that is not a temporary pleasure. It's an eternal pleasure. Why don't we get it? Is something wrong with our minds? That we don't go in the right path? These are things for us to think about. Now, Sita is gone. We are holding this program in her memory. One day will come, people will hold some memorial program for each one of us. Sita has their children and grandchildren. They will also follow that path. They're not going to be here forever. I'm not going to be here, none of you. And everybody who is born today will not be here. 80, 90, or 100 years from now. They will all be gone. And we are in a cycle. Birth and death and birth and death. Like a squirrel running in a maze or a rat running in a maze. The wheel goes round and round and the rat gets nowhere. Are we going to get somewhere? I hope we do get somewhere where it is a good landing place, where the spirit has a substantial place to land on and feel safe. That is what this life is all about. And I think it is up to us to make use of this life in such a way that when we become to that state where Sita is, that we will have that assurance that indeed this life was fruitful. I have realized the reality of this life and now I am free. We need that freedom. It's only in freedom that you can enjoy eternal bliss. In bondage you cannot. Let us reach that state of freedom and enjoy eternal bliss. So today, may Sir Guru bless the departed soul and may that soul be on the path to freedom and to eternal bliss. Thank you very much.